I think it's wrong to say he was ever a bit of a hard man, but if you grew up in the drunk chapel state in the 1970s and 80s, you probably had to be a bit hard to kind of make a, make a cut. Um, Tommy set up a men's health project which was dedicated to a friend of his, Danny Morrison. And uh, Danny Morrison had definitely been a bit of a hard man, took a tumble to himself, was very ill, recovered, and decided that this macho thing had to stop. And he gathered around him men in Trump Chapel who were brave enough, and it was brave, to say, actually, we need to take care of our own health, be responsible for one another. The sick men of Europe need to help ourselves. Now, they were called grifters, they were called weak, um, they had all sorts of stuff thrown their way. But what happened was they soon got a cue for acupuncture to stop smoking. They were doing aromatherapy in Drum Chapel, and they were doing cookery classes, which was <coughs> all to the good. Um, they had waiting lists for all of these when the Greater Glasgow Health Board decided not to renew the funding. Why was the funding not renewed? Nobody can explain. But perhaps the flavour of the month changed. The same thing as usually happens. It was a pilot, it was a one-off. Some of the men found uh, other jobs. Uh, Tommy didn't. Tommy was very, very affected by that because it had been his friend, Danny Morrison, that had inspired the whole thing. Danny had not lived to see it set up because despite the fact he was telling everybody not to be natural, to go to the doctor, not to pretend you're not ill, to deal with things up front and to be brave that way as men, when he had a, a totally curable bout of pneumonia, he thought it was a cancer coming back that he picked up when he was working at the Goodyear plant. And he was so frightened he didn't go to the doctor and he died. And that's what spurred the men on to set that centre up. There was so much personal emotion tied up in that. And it got one year's funding and it was stopped. And Tommy didn't recover. Uh, Tommy died about a month before Phil in West Wicklow Burn. Uh, Tommy died of COPD and he died an alcoholic. Tommy hadn't touched a drop of alcohol before the project. Um, it took its toll. Trying and getting nowhere takes its toll.